<laughs> Do you remember being asked as a child by a parent or um, a teacher what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, my answer was always a long distance traveling linguist. I think I said that when I was four years old. I was a rather precocious child with overachieving issues. <laughs> and um, as I mentioned before, I lived in Boston, Massachusetts for five years. And um, I had the enormous privilege of being an undergraduate at Harvard University and my major was East Asian Studies. Now, my, my studies of Chinese literature and language afforded me numerous opportunities to visit China, most notably in this wonderful summer job that I did where I traveled uh, over there working as a research writer for a student budget travel guide organized by the university along the ancient Silk Road. It was um, a fantastic experience. Nobody spoke any English. I had to speak Chinese the whole time. And uh, one of the cities that I visited was called Jiayuguan. And Jiayuguan is right at the end of the Great Wall, where the Great Wall reaches its furthest western limit. Now, one of my assignments while I was in Jiayuguan was to visit a mountain range up in the north and walk around on a glacier and then write about it. Right, so I was talking about this trip in a bar in the center of the town drinking a Qingdao beer, this young chap offered to come with me and split the cost of the taxi ride there and back. It was four hours there and four hours back. Well, I thought, what a great opportunity to practice my Chinese. And as you can tell, I love singing in foreign languages. I also love writing in them. So I thought, well, I'll combine his fluency with my songwriting. And we came up with an original song, a pop song, in Chinese. And this is what we came up with. Thanks, gentlemen. So 
好多烦恼都烟消云散。Oh, no. 